Yes, what's up everyone, Sam? Welcome back. Okay, so I've just seen Decker's latest video and I've just seen the one he um, put up yesterday and he said, what? But before we get into that, I've got to say, uh, this morning's video, back to looking his best, if I don't mind saying so, looking fresh, looking toned, looking healthy and looking positive. Um, I wish though, he would show us uh, some of the bleeding sites, some of the um, famous locations from the Philippines that have been um, part of the uh, film industry for many years, or just some some of the sites, some of the bars, some of the hotels, um, some of the scenery, some of the culture, you know, and um, we only saw it during the first week, you know, where we saw him at the pool, and uh, with getting the coconuts, blah -de blah and I'd, I'd like to see some more of that. Rather than sitting there with that, um, um, what's it called, that AC behind him. Uh, Alright, so um, he made the video yesterday anyway about the Masons. And um, do I think he's gone stark raving bonkers? Or has he got some element of truth in what he is talking about? Well, I'm going to look each and every one of you straight in the eye and tell you I think he's bang on the money I think somehow um, the Masons are targeting him there's a lot that's going on behind the scenes that we don't know about I've got a couple of sources over there and of course um, in the north of England working behind the scenes for me finding out as much info that they can I mean um, I'm trying to Basically, get rid of all the shite and just, you know, leave all that and give you just the facts. You know, if you want to hear idle gossip, rumours and all that, you'll check out all the other channels. You know, Tumble and um, Expo and um, Bird Shit and, um, you know, all the other weirdos. The misinformation um, <laughs> minority should we say and um, a lot of people fall for it because they don't really know what's going on you know what I mean they don't know that Decker is every day in the gym like he says people say oh no training footage ah oh, no this they're just trying to nitpick you know pick holes in a man that they're trying to bring down with their their smear campaign their bullying campaign their bullying campaign that's not working it's not working he's staying strong unlike Martin who's been a bit Weak and gullible, talking to the enemies. Any another one? Look, people have got to stop this begging for friendship, bollocks. There's only the doc that says it how it is. He's not worried about who likes him, uh, what allegiances he's got to certain other YouTubers. You know, basically they can all kiss my ass. Do you know what I mean? I wouldn't let them smell my feet, should we say? And at the end of the day. I believe um, Decker's bang on the money about the Masons, but no, I wouldn't bring it up anymore. I wouldn't drag yourself down that negative tunnel um, anymore. I mean, um, I'd get, like I said on the previous video, I would get rid of all the haters from the um, comment section, block the lot of them, sod the algorithm, you know. Um, I like, it wouldn't bother me if there's just a few people commenting. You know what I mean? I'd block out... The certain words, the N-word, I would put it on the, I would block that as in the blocked li uh, words list on the uh, YouTube studio. And, you know, I, I, you know what, I would just, and instead of giving them little hearts, you know what I mean, when they're calling you this, that and the other, you know, thinking you're going to win them over or at least it's still a view. Then don't, don't be that hard up for views, do you know what I mean? doesn't bother me. Like I said, I don't make videos on Danny or Decker anymore, because if I've got to make a video on them, it's got to be a positive one, like today, you know? Like I see De Decker looking good, looking healthy, looking strong. And like he said, me and him, it's, people can laugh, people can giggle, but we are the only sane ones on this part of YouTube. Alright, they was living in London. Uh, he's he's, he's um, long since gone. Uh, there was a few other sane ones, anyway, let's put it this way, um, living in London's one, he was pretty sane, and uh, one or two others, but I'm not here to blow smoke up anyone's backside, you know, I'll leave that to the the trolls, you know, but um, yeah, I've got to say, um, 
Really impressed, really impressed with the videos that Deck has been bringing out lately. I'd say 99% of them have been positive. They've been upbeat, you know, they're speaking from the heart. And it's it's inspired me, and I've I've had my own issues, my own health issues. I, from last week, I've stopped drinking. I'm going to stop all that fast food crap as well, you know. I know my cholesterol's getting high, and um, I put on weight. I'm heavier than I should be. So I've started training again. I've done two workouts this week, like bench press, preacher goals, um, deadlifts and shrugs. And I'm going to slowly get back into the weights, do you know what I mean? And also, you know, uh, get a bit active on the bag again. I'm not, I won't be sparring anymore. Um, left that other gym. The last guy I hurt, I thought, nah, it's not worth it. Do you know what I mean? I can't go around... Hurting people inadvertently, you know, what I mean, I'm here to try and teach, try and pass my skills down, so that's why I'm trying to do self-defense lessons to nobody else. I mean, even my <laughs> partner who was going to do the demonstration with me on the very first self-defense lesson, when it came to the old, you know, the knife, you know, I <laughs> accidentally hurt him too much, so I put him out of commission, so I'm still looking for someone brave enough or like I said, stupid enough to do the demonstrations with me. But until I can find someone to step into his shoes, it'll take a brave man to step into his shoes, um, they're going to be solo. The part six will be coming soon. I've noticed there's been a decline in the views, do you know what I mean? But it's not all about views. I, like I said, if, um, if I was that shallow, that petty, I would say, no, nope, no more, no more. But I, I carry on doing it for the people that are learning, that want to learn new skills. They don't want to... They don't want to be like some of these BKFC guys that can't throw a punch and they're like that and they, they come they come out of their fights whether they've won or whether they've lost battered to a pulp, you know, eyes closed, busted lips, broken nose. Look at me. All these fights I've had, even some lady said to me in a pub um, about a month ago, she says, I can't believe you're a bare knuckle fighter. She said, you've got no broken noses or, you know, your good looks are still... In good order. I said, ah, yeah, but, I, you know, I've got a slight scar on my lip, you know, when my lip got sewn up, you know. But apart from that, I've kept myself in pretty much... I've still retained all my good looks, let's put it that way. That's because I know how to fight. I know how to attack. You see, most of these bums that you see on the, um, amateur boxing, BKFC, um, and certain other bare-knuckle events that held around... Look, remember the BKB contender? You remember... Do you remember Dean? Dino Lynch Ward. He's got the Midas touch. But instead of turning to gold, it turns to it turns to shy. Everything he touches. And someone says to me, "Oh, but um, Dougie gave uh, little Ben Hatchet the um, the idea, and uh, Ben's rolling." No, sorry, sorry, that don't want. Dean's been promising this for so long. I don't know, about a year now, or it seems longer, and there's been absolutely nothing, nothing, nothing. You know, he was too ambitious. He should have done. About three fights, slowly, slowly. We're, no one's ever going to equal the success of bare knuckle street fighting brawls. Not Simon's event, not the 3D event, not Ben Hatchet's. I mean, good luck to them. They're doing okay. But bare knuckle street fighting brawls always brought the action, always brought the excitement. And it was raw, it was underground, it was so gritty, it was so, you know, and the views were going through the roof. It could have been. The biggest thing that we brought out this country. This thing could have gone worldwide. Unfortunately, a few bitter and jealous trolls ruined it. For not just Decker, but for all the fight fans like you and myself. And um, But yeah, that's it. That's all I've got to say. Um, everybody keep up the positivity. Um, and I will speak to you whenever. God bless.